On the anniversary of Superstorm Sandy, right around the corner, and we are remembering how we were impacted here in Connecticut, and we're going to talk about the road to rebuilding. Now, some still recovering 10 years later. Just days into the massive cleanup, the country was electing a new president. In the tri-state area, it was a scramble. John Craven has more. Thank you all for being here. I know it's a busy and challenging time for everyone. Election officials scrambled to come up with provisional plans for the presidential election just days after Sandy's wrath swept the tri-state. Hurricane Sandy caused a lot of confusion, a lot of panic. Hurricane Sandy caused a lot of emergency responses to making sure that we still carried off this, this presidential election. Polling places were forced to relocate because of storm damage, leaving voters confused. Long lines, lack of manpower, and a shortage of ballots made polling stations disorganized and frustrating. You see that? Well, right now you have a bunch of people registered. Poll workers were unable to transmit ballots. Oh, that's about all I remember. In New Jersey, voters were allowed to vote by mail or fax. In some cases, displaced voters were unable to vote at all. When the votes were counted, turnout was not severely impacted. Despite all the chaos that was present, particularly along you know, the East Coast, in New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut, and other states, the, uh, the election was not changed in any way in terms of the ultimate out outcome. And President Obama uh, would have won that election regardless of Sandy. 